Hello everybody, welcome back to Throttle Grotto and the 928 Project. Uh, boy, I'm getting down to the wire now. Um, I've got some more parts here that I need to put in the car. Uh, stuff that I'm not really going to show you, like an oxygen sensor and stuff like that. I do have a brand new water bottle. And I'll show you guys this piece real quick because it's a nice unit. And if you need a water bottle for one of these cars, which they all they all are going to eventually, um, it's a nice piece of it's a nice piece to pick up. Um, so this piece is made by 928 Motorsports. I think they're out of Wisconsin, if I remember correctly. But it is an aluminum replacement for the 928 water bottle and it bolts right into the same spot. Uses these little uh, uh, nozzles that it comes with that thread into the pieces on the end there. Uses the stock cap and then the sensor for the coolant level is the same. So it is a bolt-in replacement job that this will last longer than any of us will. Uh, <laughs> but once I get this swapped into the car, um, I'll show you guys how easy it is to swap it out. Actually, it's not difficult. Um, and then you can see how it looks. God. Yeah, so here we have the stock plastic old yellow bottle. I can compare these once I get them out. It comes out pretty quick, actually, if you have enough stuff out of the way. <laughs> All right, uh, I've got these on my extremely sophisticated display case here. You can see just how similar they are uh, from the mounting points. Uh, the provision here for the overflow, so you can use the overflow tube. And provisions here for the uh, feed and return. And then on the bottom, pretty simple, just a, a welded on place for the hose, the return or the big hose on the bottom to go. I don't know which way the fluid goes in these. I just know it goes in and on this one, it came out in the wrong place. So let's get this in and uh, wrap this job up and then you can see what it looks like in the car. All right, so there it is, fully installed. I will say that if you're gonna do it, I would go down here where the Y is and undo, I would undo this one and pry this hose off back here. So that one goes to the bottom of the coolant bottle and you can slide it off when you pull the old bottle out and then put the tube, the hose back on, preferably a new one and then put the whole assembly back in. So it did take a little bit of wiggling and stuff to get it to slide down in there. But once I got it past the fuel rail, it went in pretty easy. So pretty happy with that. With a little bit of coolant in the bottle. So I'm gonna top off the coolant, put the lid back on, and then that job is done. One more job before this thing goes on its first drive in probably 30 years, uh, but it's a nice peace of mind having that piece never have to worry about it failing. So if you're looking for one, check out 928 Motorsports. They do have a bunch of other 928 products as well. Give their website a look. Thank you so much for watching. Click like and subscribe, and until next time, get out there and work on something.